Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul, and today we have a mini ITX motherboard from Zotac. This is the Zotac Z68 ITX Wi Fi motherboard. The model number is Z68 ITX A E. It is, of course, featuring the Z68 chipset from Intel, which means it supports second generation Sandy Bridge processors, Core i3, i5, and i7. Z68 also enables quick sync technology for fast video encoding with Sandy Bridge processors and Intel Smart Response technology technology which allows you to use a small SSD to cache your data and speed up your hard drive speed. And yes, I said speed up your hard drive speed. Anyway, uh, let's get on with an unboxing and let's start with accessories. They have included one, two, three, four yellow serial ATA cables compatible with serial ATA revision three. You get an input output shield for the back of your case for your motherboard inputs and outputs. You get an EPS extension cable. So this is for your supplemental CPU power, and if your power supplies cable does not reach, you can use this as an extension to more easily configure your case, which is very helpful for a mini ITX build, because often you are limited on space. Uh, you get a little USB 3.0 bracket here, PCI bracket for the back of your case. Also includes a low profile bracket. Nice to have that as well. And that goes over to a 20 pin USB 3.0 uh, plug for your motherboard. You get two Wi-Fi antennas and that's to plug onto the back of the motherboard because it does have Wi-Fi included. You get a little PCI, mini PCI Express bracket and I'll show you where that goes in a little bit. Uh, you get a mini display port to regular display port adapter because there's a mini display port plug on the back of this motherboard. You get your main motherboard manual for installation. You also get your motherboard driver disk uh, for your drivers and whatnot. It's best to head over to the Zotac website to see if you can up, uh, download updated drivers, but keep that on hand for your build just in case. Uh, you also get a Zotac black and white quick installation guide with pictures. Very handy for installation. And next, the motherboard itself. And now let's move on to the motherboard itself. Here's a look at it. Again, mini ITX form factor, so very, very tiny motherboard. Uh, but let's go over all the inputs and outputs and headers and all that good stuff. Starting down here in the bottom right, you have your front panel headers, and that is for your on-off switch, as well as your uh, LEDs for hard drive activity and that sort of thing. Right above that is your CPU main power plug, so four pin power plug for your CPU heatsink fan. Uh, above that is your 24 pin main motherboard power connector. That routes over from your power supply. Above that, we have some uh, special nice add-on features. That would be a power, uh, surface-mounted power switch, surface-mounted reset button. I should say these are buttons, not switches. So surface-mounted power and reset buttons. You also have a debug LED. Very nice to have that for troubleshooting if you have any problems with your build. Next up, you got your DIMM slots here. This supports dual channel DDR3 memory. Uh, supports up to eight gig DIMMs, but those are hard to find. So you can have up to 16 gigs here, but chances are you're probably gonna go with four or eight. Make sure you get two sticks so you can enable dual channel capability. Also supports DDR3 overclock speeds of 1066, 1333, and 2133. Uh, next up, we have this little guy right here. This is your Wi-Fi card. It is mounted in a mini PCI Express slot. Now, a important thing to mention about mini PCI Express slots. First off, let me flip this over here to give you guys a better look. This is a short little card here, but there are also uh, mini PCIe SSDs that you can purchase. Since this is the 68 board, you can do SSD caching, and the little mini uh, PCI Express SSDs are very nice for that. So they do include this bracket, which you can mount there. You do have to give up uh, your surface-mounted Wi-Fi card there, uh, but if you want to, you can plug, uh, use this bracket to install a mini PCI Express SSD. Now, if you do want to use an SSD in your mini PCIe slot, you need to configure it for mSATA. Uh, to do that, you have a tiny little jumper right there, the little tube. Uh, little blue jumpers on it right now. It's right above the battery, right below the COM headers. And uh, you just short the other two pins on that, and that will switch your mini PCIe port right here uh, from PCIe mode to mSATA mode, and that will allow you to use an SSD. But of course, right now, you have your Wi-Fi module plugged in. It's 802.11n capable. These little wire wires here right over to the back panel where you can put your Wi-Fi antenna. Moving right along, uh, under this Zotac logo is our Z68 chipset. 
they've made a heat pipe design here, which runs over to uh, near the back of the mother uh, near the back of the motherboard. Uh, there's some grates on the input output shield that allow that to dissipate more heat. So you got a little bit more heat dissipation, which is important, especially in a small build. Right below that, of course, you have your 1155 socket. That is for Intel second generation core processors, Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7. Uh, what did I miss? Back up here on the top, we have a four-pin PWM-controlled uh, fan header, so that's for a case fan. Uh, next to that, you have four serial ATA ports. Uh, the red ones here are serial ATA revision three, I'm sorry, revision two, six gigabit per second, and the blue ones are serial ATA revision three, I'm totally mixing this up. <laughs> the red ones here are serial ATA revision two, six gigabit per second. The blue ones are serial ATA revision three, six gigabit per second. There we go, that's better. Uh, next up, we have some USB headers, so you can support four more USB ports. Uh, th these are USB 2.0 headers for the front of your case. Also, right down here is a 20-pin USB 3.0 uh, header, so you can use that with the included PCI bracket, or if your case that you choose has front panel USB 3.0, you can plug that in right there. Uh, let's move down here to the bottom. You have your 8-pin EPS supplemental CPU power plug, uh, which again, you route over a power cable from your power supply for. Uh, next to that, you have a 3-pin SPDIF header. You also have your front panel audio header right there. You can plug in to enable your front panel mic and headphones. And finally, let's talk about the inputs and outputs on the back. Over here on the left side, you have one, two, three, four USB 2.0 ports. So you have up to eight total available with these and the headers on the motherboard. You have a clear CMOS button. You have your two uh, little plugins here. Those are for your Wi-Fi antenna. You have a PS2 port here for a mic I'm sorry, for a keyboard or a mouse. Below that, you have two blue USB 3.0 ports. You have dual gigabit LAN ports right there. Uh, you also have an HDMI port, which supports uh, 1920 by 1200 resolution. You have this mini display port, port right there. Uh, and again, that does come with a dongle to transform it into a standard display port, port. Uh, and that supports resolutions of up to 2560 by 1600. You get one more HDMI out right there. And then finally, you have your audio connectors. It supports eight channel high definition audio. Uh, you also have the optical SPDIF output port there. That's for a Toslink cable. And it supports sample rates of 192K, 96K, 48K, and 44.1K. So very nice to have all these audio, all this audio output capability, especially, again, if you're gonna be building a home theater PC. Oh, and once again, cannot forget the PCI Express port. Uh, you got a full length 16 speed PCI Express port down there. So with Z68, you have the option of going with the uh, GPU that's integrated onto your Sandy Bridge CPU, or you can add on a discrete graphics card, full length 16 speed slot right there, as mentioned, and you can use the Virtue uh, the Lucid Virtue technology to switch back and forth between them. So uh, plenty of video options as well as audio options on this mini ITX motherboard. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Zotac Z68 ITX Wi-Fi motherboard. Model number is Z68ITX-A-E, featuring the Z68 chipset, the 1155 socket for Intel second generation Core i3, i5, and i7 Sandy Bridge processors, and of course, the mini ITX form factor uh, for very small computers. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.